sure most of you remember that big incident that happened back in 2010 that nobody seems to talk about anymore even though we have these climate alarmists that are traveling the world but um maybe they should talk about this issue so back in 2018 I was down in Corpus Christi South Padre Island area and I could not believe the tar balls and oil still washing up on the beaches it was all over my feet my kids feet like it would not come off and the next day when we went to the beach I started filming and I, I was filming different aspects of it and I'm going to show you that in just a minute and how all of the sea creature the little clams and shrimp and stuff were all like just stuck in this tar ball funny thing I mean maybe this is just a coincidence but I posted three separate videos on Twitter about these tar balls and I posted it to actual BP strange thing only one of those videos now shows up and I cannot find my other videos in my Google Drive I mean that that's probably just me but uh, I'm still looking for that but I'm gonna show you all the video that I'm talking about and show you some more tar balls that are washing up now just um, in Florida they're talking about it funny thing though I keep saying funny thing that's awkward they're saying this is absolutely not from the BP Deepwater Horizon how do they even know that they have not even tested it yet they said it's going for testing okay so you don't know yet so that right there tells me that 100% they are they know that something's up and they're covering up for BP many people just kind of forgot what what went on and they think people got paid off and you know everybody's living their lives no it changed our oceans forever forever it changed the Gulf seafood industry forever it ch it changed our tr our tourism all of these things changed it forever you know we still have dead zones in our oceans in the Gulf of Mexico but something that is absolutely huge that we found it was actually a viewer that found it and she didn't know what she was looking at and so I took a look at it and it, it's indistinguishable it's obvious what it is and it's massive absolutely massive this unaccounted for massive amount of oil that they just said it'll probably just sink to the bottom that's what all that spraying of that those chemicals were for and all of this stuff that was giving people cancer and all of these other things it, it just sunk to the bottom you know that they said many different things okay well most people didn't believe at the time but something that we always can count on is the public having amnesia it's sad but it's true and I'm sure that they figured that they said mm, people will forget about it in time well that may be true but the good thing is the internet does not forget and as much as people don't want to trust Google images or whatever the case may be we do find some gems more often than not because that it most people don't realize the people that run the Google satellites the satellites for Google Earth and Google Maps and stuff is not NASA it's a conglomeration mainly of civilian ran companies and then they get input from the NASA and then whenever you're scrolling you can see the different satellites that the image is using and anyway so it's not just government satellites these are civilian companies one's called planets and there's there's some other ones and then they all come together and have a consensus on yeah this is a, an accurate picture whatever 
Well, we found something that was not in Antarctica before 2009, but in 2011, it showed up. And then, something very strange began to happen that still scientists say they don't, they don't know why. They don't know why Antarctica is melting so fast. You know, I, I kind of tossed around, uh, I don't think I did a video about this, but there, there looked to be some type of maybe Fukushima, maybe they were pouring some of their nuclear waste into the ocean, and maybe that was making its way to Antarctica. And that still could be the case. But from the obvious oil slick pictures that I'm about to show you, and and the covering up that has gone on since all of this, it's undeniable. And so if anybody wants to be outraged about climate, and I'm not saying to be an alarmist, you know, the earth works in cycles, and I'm not saying this is good or bad, I mean it's bad, there shouldn't, this should not happen. And they've also had Turkish divers go down there and test and they have found oil down there. But I'm going to show you undeniable pictures that there is a massive oil slick in Antarctica. Not only that, but it showed up right after. And then right after, right after 2010 is when the massive melting began. And scientists don't know why. They think it's because, you know, one of the ice sheets broke off and then that's part of it. I'm sure it's a conglomeration of things, okay? It, it probably is. But I'm sure this did not help. Because what the oil does is it creates that barrier to where there's no oxygen being released, no carbon dioxide getting in, and so it creates this dead zone. And so nothing can circulate. Um, so let's go ahead and take a look at all of those things. And if you want to be upset about climate, be upset at the right people. That's, I'm not going to talk about the, the person that's going around. Um, I, but she's pointing the finger at individual people, like, like as if we are the ones to blame. And that's not true, okay? If you want to be upset, be upset at the right people. The ones that are hiding the information. The ones that are doing the damage. But, um, and don't be, you know, don't be an alarmist. Just take things in a calm manner. But anyway, y'all share this with her too, okay? Y'all know who I'm talking about, but I'm not going to mention her name. But anyway, let's take a look at these undeniable pictures, uh, the satellite footage, and that video that I took whenever I was on the beach, and then some other tarball things that have been found. Okay, let's start off with my video, one of my videos from the beach back in 2018, eight years after the spill. And these were everywhere, with all of these, these uh, mollusks and clams and whatever uh, attached to these tar balls and shrimp and stuff. And like I said, some of my videos, I just cannot find them. If I do find them, I will upload them. I, know, I mean, they've got to be somewhere. But, um... I mean, that, that's insane. Okay, and so that was Corpus Christi, South Padre Island. If you want to see the original, it's on my uh, Twitter page. At Jen Vets for Truth. Okay, for those who forgot, this was the spill right here. When they caught it on, on the camera for all those hours. And this is a beach afterward, 
there's many beaches that will look just like this. Just terrible. Oil everywhere. I mean, it was just washing up and it was in the water like this. I mean, it was so bad. The animals caught in it. It was, just, it was horrific. But I wanted to show you all these comparisons. That way, whenever you see what I'm about to show you with Antarctica, you'll see like what it looks like on a beach that we know of. Okay, let's go ahead and go to Antarctica. Okay, so if you go here, this is Antarctica, right? And so this would be the perfect area for if anything was to get caught up or anything because due to how the currents, you know, they go this way, they come out this way, and then, so like this is kind of a shelter area where, you know, it would be where things would get there and then like stop because it would get out of all of the, um, the currents that are going each way. And so it's pretty astonishing that this is what we found. So you come in here, right here. I'll put the coordinates in the, in the description. Okay. Right here. I mean, this looks just like how all the, be the beaches around here looked after it happened. For those who don't know, I do live on the on the Gulf Coast in Louisiana and I mean this is exactly what it all looked like and it's just it's so strange that this is the only piece that they have look and you can see right here this brown you know like it's coming up through the ice um, but this is this is the crazy part so you go to the time thing right here and this is 2019 but that doesn't mean this picture was taken in 2019 this picture was taken in 2011 from what I gather see it's the same exact picture back in 2011 and then you go back one more well let's go to 2009 because that But you can see, like, no, it's nothing like that. 2007, 8, 9. You see how this looks fine? Right here. Looks fine. 2009. And then 2010 still looks fine. And 2011. We have this. And if you compare this... To those pictures I was just showing you about what the what the beaches look like I mean what else could this be Mars <laughs> I'm kidding um, this is pretty crazy and it's as if they were they were looking for it and that's why they have this clear picture there's some reason that they have just this picture in like ultra high def just you know like this is the only spot ultra high def there was a reason for it um you know maybe i i don't know uh, but there is a reason that they allowed this picture to get out i just don't know what it is I think, you know, probably NOAA and these other, the um, environmental organizations probably were looking into this. I mean, that that's exactly how it looked. All these, these strings of oil slick. That's exactly all. I mean, that's crazy. And that's essentially when the ice started melting at an alarming rate. And the rate that it's it's melting at right now. It's melting way faster than if that poor little Greta knew about how fast it's actually melting, she she would probably have a little a little uh, stroke or something. Um, 
no, I, I honestly don't believe that being an alarmist is a good idea. But, um, I mean, that that's insane. I mean, now, there, there might be a pyramid over here generating heat, but I'm not going to get into all of that with this video. I do believe that that's going on here. So, it, it is a multifaceted thing. And I'm going to go into that on a different video. There's multiple pyramids here. Or not. You know, whatever. <laughs> yeah, there are. But, um, yeah, that, that's insane. Absolutely insane. But if you just look at the ones from the beach that we know are from an oil spill and compare them to this, and if you know what you're looking for, or even if you don't, I mean, it. it's pretty hard to say that that's not what this is. Maybe it's not from BP. Maybe it's from a different oil spill. Uh, who knows? But that's, I, I don't see what else it could be. But I'm open to, you know, somebody with more experience with this. I mean, I've seen it firsthand. So, Alright guys, y'all have a wonderful day. Like, share, and subscribe. Um, please leave comments below. What do you think? Um, be nice in the comments. There's people on the other side of those. <laughs> but um, seriously, leave constructive comments. There's no reason to just put crazy stuff like you believe Google Images or any of that. There's no need for all that. But anyway, y'all have a wonderful day. And... Just share this because I'm sure it's going to be pushed down because it's one of those topics. But y'all know I'm not going to shy away from talking about um, something so important. Okay? But bye guys. Y'all have a wonderful day.